Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Pepper, and today I want to talk about... Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, uh, cover conceal, cover conceal. Uh, okay, uh, tree trunk, corrugated roofing. Wood, metal, metal, okay. Glad I had this out as a, a lawn ornament. Uh, bullets. Okay. Uh, there we go. Which is the? Which way is the front? Uh, that. Okay. Doesn't fit. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah. They're all just falling through. Something. Something's supposed to go in there. <laughs> Hilarious. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today I wanted to talk about uh, the idea of preparing for things ahead of time uh, versus um, just uh, procuring assets. Uh, in the skit, obviously, that I was pretending that I was somebody that owned an AR-15 and bought some ammo, albeit 9mm, <laughs> uh, and... Um, you know, then got into a dangerous situation and was trying to learn on the fly um, what to do. Uh, and obviously that's a ridiculous um, insurance policy. That's not going to work out for anybody really well. Uh, and today what I want to talk about specifically is gardening. I think a lot of people buy, uh, you know, the seed vault uh, and uh, just sort of get uh, the sense that like they've got this big thing full of seeds uh, and, you know, I'm all set. That's all squared away. Done with that. I can start gardening if the S ever H's the the, the F. Um, and you know, obviously, that might not be the best the best plan to uh, to be going forward with. There are a lot of challenges with gardening, just like there are with anything else. Uh, and um, they're not even just generic uh, challenges. Like I, I read a gardening book, uh, so you know, I I know how to do this or I know how to do that. There are uh, area-specific challenges that, that come with gardening, and by what I mean by that is uh, you could live in a certain town, and the elevation and the soil conditions in one part of the town could make uh, that area uh, good for growing certain types of crops, but not so good for growing other types of crops. Uh, and in another area in town, it could be all, all over the place, all different, uh, you know, just based on your geography and, uh, and the microclimate that you have. So it's really important that you're practicing these things ahead of time and getting a sense uh, not only for just how to be a good gardener, but getting to know your area and getting to know what works well in your area. I, I, I don't think that, it, you know, for, for, um, for SHTF uh, purposes, I don't think anybody should be trying to, you know, grow pineapples, uh, you know, in the Arctic. You know, you should try to stick with plants that are kind of easy and you know that they're going to grow well. Uh, what I've got going in my garden uh, here, because I'm searching for what grows well here, is uh, a bunch of pumpkins. Those do seem to do really well in my area. I've grown those for a number of years, and they always seem to do well. I did, uh, did a bunch of potatoes, uh, and they did pretty well this year. Uh, you know, I've had mixed results with those. Um, I'm mostly Irish, so as a mostly Irish person, I know never trust the potato. You know, we've had some issues with those. So, um, you know, I do have two varieties of potatoes, though. Uh, but still, you know, they, they are they are a good uh, source of uh, you know carbs and, and everything else. So I do, I do still keep going with those, and they do seem to do well in my area. A lot of tomatoes here. They did well this year, but two years ago, blight on all of them. They looked great, lots of green tomatoes, and then as they went red, they all just rotted off the vine. Um, and that's important to get a sense of that because that gives me a feel for the unreliability of that particular crop. At least, you know. In my experience, um, so what I, I'm doing is I, I'm, I'm searching for the crops that are really reliable and seem to do really well time after time, year after year in my area. Over here, I grew a bunch of corn. It's sort of the biggest patch, and it's not a huge patch for corn, but it's the biggest patch that I've ever done for corn. It all seemed like it was doing really well, uh, and then it all got eaten up by chipmunks. This is the only surviving piece of corn that I was able to pull out of the garden. So I might need to do some work on that or maybe reevaluate whether corn is something that I want to be trying to 
you know, use garden space on here or if I should try some other crops. Uh, but the point is, obviously, uh, is experiment. Find out what works well in your area. Uh, get a sense of that. You know, you're not going to go out and buy an AR-15 and a bunch of ammo and then think that you're going to step into a wall situation, uh, walk out your front door like Rambo and that you're going to be anywhere near safe. You know, you need to train with this stuff. It's the skill set that's important. The tools help the skills along, but it's the, it's the skills that, that are the important part. Um, in, 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 by the same virtue, you know, if you don't know how to drive a car, um, well, maybe a car is not, an airplane. Nobody is going to go out and buy an airplane and presume that they're going to have any clue whatsoever in terms of how to fly that thing without having some serious training on it. Um, I don't know why you would necessarily need an airplane in an SHTF situation. Um, it's just an example, you know. Don't shoot me over it. Um, but the idea is it's the skill sets. Are you, are you f practicing your skill sets? Are you flexing your abilities? Are you learning what works in your area? Not just generically, not just generically out of books and things like that, but what works on the ground, on the earth, part of the earth that you're living on. Because I think it's really important to get comfortable with it so that uh, you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't throw you when you're not trying to figure it out all at the last minute and making a lot of mistakes at that point. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Jeez. Oh, oh, I'm starving. I think there's some food in here, though. Oh. Well, I've got a lockpicking kit. I thought there's supposed to be like a key in here or something. What the hell are these? That looks kind of like a key.